Thousands of San Diegans are one paycheck away from living on the streets. Your neighbors, friends, co-workers, classmates, many of them may be on the edge of homelessness. It is a subject that can be tough to talk about, but here at 10 News, we are committed to facing it together. 10 News anchor Kimberly Hunt spent a day with a single mother who doesn't have a home, but does have a sense of place, at least temporarily. This is not just any parking lot. It's a safe place to sleep in your car, provided by Jewish Family Service. 24-year-old Selena is here with her two children. She invited us to spend a day. It's way before sunrise, but life starts early here for Selena, and we will be there as it begins. Good morning, sunshine. It seems really quiet and restful here. Are you able to sleep here? Yeah, it's pretty comfortable here. It's been months now. How are you holding up with this? It's difficult at times. It's hard. My kids kind of keep me motivated, keep me going and trying to do what I can for them. It's time to wake up a sleeping two-year-old. You don't want to wake up? No. Selena gets help from her mother and stepdad in Mexico, as well as the government, but she hasn't been able to find affordable housing and doesn't want to cross the border every day. I look for rooms, um, but they don't, they won't get me because they say we're kind of, it's too many people for a room. So the daily cycle begins. I get up, get everything ready, get the clothes out, and then I'll head to Spring Valley. But nothing is that simple in this situation. The baskets with all of their belongings will have to fit back into place. Yeah, every day I do this. I'll put the three baskets here, these three, and then um, take out their clothes for the day. And then I have also his car seat. And that's how I kind of fix the car. <laughs> Today, her six-year-old daughter, Aliana, is with her grandmother. So Selena and Jerry make the trip across the parking lot to the bathroom. Back at the car, the baby's bed is replaced by a car seat. And now he seems more content or resigned. <laughs> to the drive ahead. Selena has to be out of the lot by 7 a.m. to make the trek to Spring Valley where the kids are dropped off at daycare. You're already gonna start crying? Jerry will be fed. On a typical day, Aliana would be walked to school and Selena goes to work at the Ark of San Diego, a nonprofit which cares for children and adults with disabilities. For her to come in and just put her life aside and focus on them, it's, it's amazing. There was a heartfelt welcome in the parking lot by a lead supervisor. Pink. <laughs> Selena just started working here full time two weeks ago. You gotta go. Now she has a steady paycheck and benefits, which will help. I just always try to keep her up in spirits and just try to brighten her day. And I know she's here to brighten other folks' days. So um, I just wish the best for her. Road. <laughs> <laughs> the road chip instead of the road trip. <laughs> there are 62 clients in their department and Selena enjoys being here. She says everybody is really nice. Do your head in a circle. There you go. I like interacting with them. Um, a lot of people see them different. Oh, mouth, exhale, tongue out. <sighs> <laughs> Sometimes people see them as little kids just because of whatever condition they have. Um, but I kind of just see it as going and interacting with them and kind of making them be independent. Hug yourself. <laughs> Selena says she's balancing everything right now, working hard for those depending on her to make a home and working for those she serves at ARC. No matter what, they see you as who you are. There you go. Those are Kimberly Hunt reporting now with a full time job, help from the government and a help from her mother. Selena is looking for housing. All guests who stay at the Jewish Family Service Safe Parking Lot must enroll in a program 
as well as work with a case manager and housing specialist. Now the goal is to help them temporarily until they can get into more permanent housing. We're going to follow the second half of Selena's journey tonight on 10 News at 6.